Doesn't matter. There are only four rules you need to remember. Make the plan, execute the plan, expect the plan to go off the rails, throw away the plan. There's no greater feeling than when you set the hook and you have a pretty good idea that it's a new PB on the line. I knew I didn't have to horse this one. And I knew she was probably pretty big from how I couldn't get her to give. Back up to it. Gear I was using was 30 pound braid with 50 pound fluorocarbon leader and a zombie max 7 inch in the fish chow pattern. Come up yet. That's gonna be a big fish. Okay, that's that's big. That's big. That's big. That's big. As you can see there, she's pulling drag and giving me head shakes. And this reel has 17 pound drag. So it's a big fish when it's pulling drag like that. That's gonna be a good fish. There it is. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's a beast. Can you see that? It's going back down. Going deep. Head shakes. Come on. Please be hooked good. Catching a fish like this is a memory you'll never forget. And thanks to Zombie Max for helping me get it done. Oh, it's a good fish. It is a good fish. <laughs> That's a wicked fish. him on the fish finder. This is definitely my new PB. Oh my god, that thing is awesome! The tail on it is huge! Zombie Max! Look at the look at the back on that! Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah, oh yeah. You can see the power and weight of this fish by the bend in that rod. It's a seven foot medium heavy. Such a great feeling. Here he comes to the surface again. Look at that fish! Look at that tail! Oh, that is amazing fish! Look at the size of that thing! This fish was over 41 inches and over 20 pounds.
All right, so maybe I should talk about some of the ways that I fish the Lucky Bug Zombie Max. So one of the ways that I fish it is jigging it. And mostly I do that in the winter, of course, through the ice. But sometimes if I anchor up, the jig bite's pretty good. I'm trying to up my bait size from minnows to something else. I'll sit there and I'll jig a Zombie Max. The fall of the Zombie Max looks extremely like a dying bait fish. It has that down pat. Now, the other way that I'll fish this bait is with a reel and pause. And what that does is every time you pause, that bait drops. And there's a fish. Just like that. So when it hits that pause, those fish hammer it because it looks like it's dying. And this is a pretty decent fish, I think. Decent for the day, anyway. Uh, no, I think we might have caught a bigger one. But he's pretty good. So, there's a pike on the zombie. Max! <laughs> and I just about wore that. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get more. there oh yeah come on stay on there yes first walleye on the bingo bug bingo bugs I found the trick so here we go bingo bug perfect for trolling for walleye and trout third fish on the bingo bug shouldn't say that until I get it in the boat or on the pontoon but I have faith third fish little guy again but seriously super fun to figure this out super super fun so excited Jesus, that's a good looking little fish. Healthy. I mean, I'm displaying it and everything. Awesome. Bingo bugs! So, for your chance to win some of these great lures, please subscribe, like, and comment on both of our channels, the Huntley Experience and Lucky Bug Lures. Good luck to everyone.